It is Monday, April 15th of 2024. It is also Mr. Cozy's birthday. So, I've already wished him a happy birthday. And I'm not sure what our plans will be for today. But, regardless, it is Mr. Cozy's birthday. Good morning, Susie. How are you? I hope you are doing well. <clears throat> I was watching Tuber Chat yesterday. As most of you know, I adore Tuber Chat. I watch just about every single episode that there is of Tuber Chat. Yesterday, he celebrated his seven, 700th episode. All right, Eileen of tuber chat and if you guys get a chance i would like it if you guys could go and re-watch his 700th episode on that episode i'm no expert so trust me i i was just as curious as the next person when he said this youtube is the number two most searched in the world. It is the second most popular search engine there is besides Google. And he was telling us because he's going to start a new series here and he's been doing interviews with other content creators that have 10,000 or more um, subscribers. And there was a few people in the chat that were talking about watch hours. Now, to how true this is, as I said, I don't know. I'm not an expert, you guys. I'm just going based on what I heard on the Tuber chat yesterday. Good morning, Don. Yesterday, Kevin was talking and on Tuber Chat, he said, once there is a red line underneath a video that has been watched, them hours count. YouTube tracks that. That's counted towards your watch hours. And as far as he knows, each subscriber you have in your channel can watch your videos two times and count as watch hours. After that, once that red line's there, it doesn't matter, let's say for example, Eileen went and watched my playlist. Oh, sweetheart, you know you are so welcome. You, I'm here for you 24 seven. You need me, you call me, send me a message, whatever. You know I'm here for you, honey. Um, but if Eileen was to go and watch, let's say she ran my, my videos playlist of the videos I've made. If she watches those twice, even if she went back, good morning, Stephanie, even if she goes and clears her watch history and tries to rerun that playlist two more times for me, I don't get the watch hours, you guys. Good morning, Anthony. How are you? So yesterday was quite interesting on Tuber Chat. And he was saying that some channels have been shut down by YouTube for invalid traffic. Which means that you're, you're trying to go around the system of YouTube and not properly gaining your watch hours. So please go watch episode 700 of Tuber Chat. If you get a chance, please go watch that episode. He talks a lot about it. He explains it a lot better than I do, but I did write it down to bring up because I do want you guys to be aware that even if you're running other people's playlists, you can only do it twice. Even if you clear the watch history, you cannot get them more hours by doing that.
Eileen, every video you have watched will have a red line underneath it. It may not show on your TV, but on your phone or your computer, every video. Hang on, I'll grab my phone and show you. <clears throat> All right, let's see. This is my history of what I watched on videos. See the red line? Every video you watch will have a red line under it like that. That shows you've watched that video and them hours count towards that person that you watched. You may do it up to two times. After that, the you can watch it 50 times. Their hours will not count. Yes, Eileen, I do believe you have to look on the play on the playlist. Anthony, you say it's <clears throat> it's nothing new. It it's kind of new to me because um I was watching uh Bella's uh home homestead one and I have run her playlist twice now and I had mentioned in the chat with Kevin yesterday on tuber chat I told her I would go ahead and watch her playlist again if she was needing the watch hours and that's when we got informed I could only do it twice and it doesn't count to give her watch hours even if I watched her playlist again so I, like I said, I'm not an expert, you guys. I'm new still. I don't understand how all of this still works. I'm still learning along with a lot of others. I just thought I would bring it up to your guys' attention just so that if it is true, you guys aren't wasting your time by trying to give somebody watch hours the playlist that you've already watched twice. I'm just trying to save you guys time. Great info for sure. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> Eileen, that's a very good question. I don't know the answer to that. If you can get watch hours for watching your own playlists. So uh, that's a great question. And that would be something most definitely that I could ask in Tuber chat or get a hold of YouTube and ask YouTube. I've that is a wonderful question. I really don't know the answer to that. So that was a very great question. I'm glad you asked that. You should have, Eileen. That would have been a great question to ask Kevin. You been doing any fishing, Anthony? I watched you the other morning, Sunday morning. I was watching you for a while. He hooked into this great big carp, you guys. A huge, I mean, this thing was fat. <laughs> I've never seen a carp so fat. <laughs> I enjoy watching Anthony when he goes fishing on Sunday mornings. <laughs> Our stitches this week are two very, very pretty stitches. Exactly, Don. Exactly. And YouTube is finding out more and more of people trying to go around the system and they are shutting down their channels. It's called invalid trafficking and YouTube will not tolerate it. So just, I wanted to make you guys aware of it. I, I play by the rules. I know most all of you guys play by the rules. I know there's probably a few out there that don't play by the rules. Um, I just, I just want all of my very close dear friends to be aware. I do not want to lose any of you guys. I love every one of you that I watch and that I'm very close to. I just wanted to bring it up. I thought it would be some valuable information. So, well, good luck, Anthony, and I will be looking for you soon. I, like I said, I enjoy watching you go fishing. And thank you for coming in. I appreciate it.
Mary King, even if you clear the watch history, it, do, it, it does not help them. That was brought up on Tuber Chat yesterday. Even if you clear your watch history, their hours have already been recorded and tracked by YouTube. They give them to them. That's what counts. Anything after that does not count and could lead to what they call invalid trafficking. Good morning, Sally. So I just wanted everybody to be aware of that. I don't want to see any of my friends, any of the channels I enjoy watching get in trouble by trying to go around the system. That would be a shame. It would be hurtful to a lot of people that enjoy their channels. So, Mary, I said the same thing. It was very good to know this information, and I, I wanted to share it. And as I said, if you can, please go watch episode 700 of Tuber Chat. It was on yesterday morning. Great information. Kevin always has great information. And he's been doing it for over four years of Tuber Chat. He just celebrated his 700th episode. He's got a new series coming out where he's interviewing... Um, content creators that have 10,000 or more subscribers that have been in the business for a while and they're sharing their tips on how to grow your channels, on how to um, make your channel a better place, a more successful channel. So Tuber Chat is great all the way around. Any way you look at it, it's great. It's, it's great information for running your channel, learning how to make your channel better, how to grow your channel. Just, it's, Tuber Chat is wonderful. I, I absolutely adore Kevin. I really do. <clears throat> and I think a lot of people could really benefit from watching Kevin, the information he shares. He's on Instagram. He's on Twitter. He's always available. If somebody does have questions, he's more than willing to talk with you privately to help you along, answer questions if you have them. So, I definitely subscribe to Kevin if you have not. Absolutely, Eileen. Even if you don't have a channel, he's it's great information to pass along to your friends that do have channels to share information. He he is absolutely wonderful. Good morning, Zoila. Thank you for coming in. So, our stitches this week, as I was saying, was the Snapdragon and Split Shells. And they are both very, very beautiful stitches, both very easy stitches. I am, again, apologize that the post would not allow you to pick two stitches so hopefully when this live is over and I go you know Dawn I absolutely agree with you on that I agree 100% with that and Mary I agree you definitely help and I appreciate you so much you don't even know and I Don I 100% agree people like you and me um, Mishi all of us Ivy Jen Sharon all of us smaller channels that are still trying to even get to that 1,000 subscribers Okay, Susie, thank you for coming in. <clears throat> but it, we do. We work hard. We're trying to create content. We're trying to come up with content. We, we're trying to do all that we can just to make our channels grow to even hit that 1,000 subscribers. And then there's people out there that are doing it unfairly by buying subscribers, buying watch hours, they're getting big companies to help promote them and giving them gifts and 
they're it's not fair it really is not fair Don I agree 100% it's not fair I mean I I'm trying to build my channel up I I'm I don't know what else I can do differently you know I I'm coming on live three times a week I'm putting up lots of shorts I try to put up as many videos as I can um it, it Eileen, you're in, YouTube is, Kevin said it yesterday, YouTube is trying to crack down on it. They are watching channels, and those channels that they do see like that. Zoila, yes, you absolutely can. Um, I don't know how. I don't know how much it costs. I just, it is absolutely, people can buy subscribers and watch hours. I don't know how it works, but I agree, Mary. I would be very depressed if there was channels that got taken off because of invalid trafficking. That would be very sad. <laughs> yes, Zoila, it does. It's it's awful. It really is. I was telling them about on Tuber Chat yesterday about what Kevin was talking about, about watch hours and invalid trafficking and YouTube is is catching up to some of these channels and they are shutting them down and taking everything away from them. So I wanted everybody to be aware of the watch hour situation. You can watch a person's video twice. That's it. YouTube counts those hours, it goes towards their watch hours, and that's it. Anything after that, you could get in trouble for invalid trafficking for trying to go around YouTube's system of gaining watch hours, um, buying subscribers. I mean, and I agree with Dawn. I, I, it's not fair to smaller channels like me and Dawn and Ivy and all... you. Zach, Michael, we're all still small channels that have just come out over the last few months. So, yeah, Zoila, it does. It, it's, it's very infuriating. It's very frustrating. It's, it's hard. It really is. And yes, Eileen, you're right. There are videos up about buying subs, uh, the costs. And I, to me, that's, I wouldn't even want to look at those channels because I wouldn't want to give YouTube the knowledge to even think of me thinking of something like that. That That's, I want to do it the fair, honest way. And I will do it the fair, honest way. I don't care if it takes me four years to get to a thousand subscribers. I will do it the honest, fair way. I don't want any reasons for YouTube to go back and look at my channel and say, oh, well, she, she might not be an honest, valid person. I don't want that because I am a very honest, valid person. <laughs> All right, back to our stitches for this week. And as I said, I apologize that you guys were only allowed to pick one stitch. I'm hoping that after today's live, when I go to put up week eight's new stitches, that you guys will be able to vote on two. If not, please leave what two you want to learn the most in the comment section. Please, that way I know which two you guys want to learn. I went this week by what was left in the comments and what was up on the poll. The Snapdragons and Split Shells won. Even with them in the comments, there was a couple for the triangle, which I will put that one back up because a lot of, there was, I think, two or three of you that wanted to really learn that one as well. So I will re-put up that triangle one, and then I'll put up four new ones as well. Mary, you have done absolutely nothing wrong, honey. 
you have nothing to worry about. You are a very, very good supporter to lots of channels. You are an amazing person. You have done absolutely nothing wrong, honey. No one here has done anything wrong. I just wanted to, to bring that to a point so that everybody here knew and could maybe pass the word along to others so that they are aware that you you can't get extra watch hours by clearing your watch history and re-watching their videos. YouTube does not allow it. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble for what they call invalid trafficking. So I just want people to be aware. And as I said, please go watch the episode, episode 700 of Tuber Chat. It was on yesterday. Zoila, I'm glad you were here and that you, like, yeah, because you are, you're a mod for so many other channels. And it, it, the more channels we can make aware that two times is it. Even if you watch your clear history or your watch history, if you clear it, and you go back and watch it again, it does not count. Because I know that a lot of people thought that, that they could do that. You could go and watch, clear out your watch history, and that you could start over and watch it a couple more times. It Well, you can't. It's twice, that's it. Even if you clear your watch history and you go back and try to watch it again, you cannot gain more watch hours. Yes, Mary, you do. It, there is so many things that people get told that they can and they can't do. And I wanted to bring it to everyone's attention, as I said, because I don't want to see any of my favorite channels get in trouble at all. And that's why I asked if you guys could go check out the episode. It's it's He talks about it within the first two hours. He was on for four hours yesterday because he celebrated, like I said, his 700 episode. But within that first two hours, he talks about the watch hours, the invalid trafficking. So you are very welcome, Mary. I just want everyone to be aware. I don't want to see anybody get in trouble or lose their channel because of invalid traffic. <laughs> this is what Kevin calls it. So I just want people to be aware. All right, we will start with the Snapdragon Stitch, which is a very, exactly Zoila, knowledge is power. And it's very interesting to have learned that because over on, you, on Tuber Chat, you can swap playlist with other members over there and that's how this whole situation came about <laughs> was talking about swapping playlists with another member over there Don you are so sweet and I'm I'm kind of like you I could care less either way if I get monetized. I do this because I enjoy spending time with you guys. This is my way of socializing. I enjoy teaching the new stitches. I very, very much enjoy trivia night with you guys. I love doing trivia night with you guys. That has become my favorite night of the week. <laughs> I love Thursday night trivia. Um, <clears throat> I do have some very good questions for you guys this week. Yes, Zoila, Don does absolutely amazing, beautiful work. I love, love, love her yarn. It's so beautiful. Good morning, Nancy. Welcome in. And Mary, you do. You are, like I said, you are a great supporter. You are over at everyone's channels and you support everyone. And I know I'm not the only one that appreciates you for that. And Nancy, you asked what you missed. Um, we were talking about an episode that was on Tuber Chat yesterday. They celebrated their seven, 700th episode yesterday. And he was talking about 
watch hours and people clearing their watch history and going back and re-watching videos. You cannot do that. You can watch them twice. That's it. They do not get more hours credited to them. Even if you clear your watch history, um, some channels are getting in trouble and shut down for called invalid traffic for trying to go around YouTube system. I, w I just brought it up to make other channels aware because I don't want to see any of my favorite channels or friends get shut down for invalid traffic. So, and asked everybody to please go watch that episode of Tuber Chat. He talks about it within the first two hours of him being on. Oh, I'm so excited about that, Dawn. I can't wait. Ooh. Oh, I'll show you guys. I started a new shawl as well. I'm going to do this one in two colors of the date night yarn. So it will have the lighter color and this color. If I can get the other yarn untangled from it. And let my hook kind of lay loose. But I'm going to do it with this darker color and the lighter color. And I'm going to make this one even bigger than the last one. And I'm going to put tassels on each corner of this one. Big tassels on each three corners so that you can kind of tie it around you. So this one is going to be really, really big. And I'm so, so excited about it. And yes, Nancy, Zoila just found out that it is possible that people can purchase watch hours and subscribers. And that is very, very infuriating. Thank you, Sally. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Nancy, I did not see her video from last night. I do have it on my watch to watch. I have not seen it yet. I did see that she got the little dress finished. That is beautiful. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> Leave it to Nancy. <laughs> Nancy, you weren't supposed to tell anybody. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, our stitches. We're going to start with the Snapdragon. This one is done in multiples of 8 plus 5. Hi, Sugar. Welcome in. So, I'm going to do 16. I'll do a total of 21. Nancy, you crack me up. <laughs> okay, once you have your multiples of 8 plus 5 in the 5th chain from your hook, you're going to work a double crochet. And this will count as your first V stitch. Then you're going to skip three. One, two, three. And then into that fourth one, you're going to work five double crochets, a shell of five double crochets.
and then you'll skip three and into the fourth you'll do a double crochet V stitch so a double crochet chain one and a double crochet all in that same stitch Thank you guys. You gotta go adult. Oh no. Good morning, Mary. Thank you for coming in. Then you're gonna skip three again. One, two, three. And into the fourth one, you'll work a shell of five double crochets. This is a really easy uh, stitch pattern to remember. It's just a two row repeat. And then you're gonna skip three, one, two, three, and in that last stitch, you'll work a double crochet V stitch. So a double crochet, a chain one, and then a double crochet. And that's what your first row should look like. And this is a, the snapdragon stitch. Then you're going to chain three. Turn your work. And into this very first V stitch right here, you're going to work two double crochets. Okay, Zoila. Good morning, Michelle. It's okay. You're never late, hon. Good morning, Shirley. Then you're going to skip three, which will put you into the middle of that five double crochet shell stitch you did. And into that, you're going to work a double crochet V stitch. So a double crochet chain one and a double crochet all into the same stitch and then you're going to skip three one two three which will put you in the middle of this v stitch and in there you'll do the uh five double crochet shell Couldn't drag you to the post office today. <laughs> yeah, we just started this, Shirley. This is the Snapdragon one, and it's really simple. And then you'll skip three, which will put you back to the middle of that five double crochet shell. And in the center of that, you'll do your V-stitch. So a double crochet V stitch. So there's the double chain one and a double right back in. Oh, Zoila, that's not fun. And then you'll skip three, which will put you into the middle of your last V stitch there. So you'll do your double crochet V stitch into that. And that ends row two. So you're just alternating these stitches. Let me take my hook out here for a minute. So you're just alternating these stitches. So when you go to start the next row, you'll chain four because you're going to start with your double crochet V stitch. And then you'll go to the center of this V stitch and you'll work five shells. And then you just alternate back and forth.
anybody who wanted buttons. Yeah, jury duty, mom, my roommate, he had to go. It was for a, a murder trial that he had to go for. And he was gone three weeks that trial went on before they he finally took a plea deal. Otherwise, we don't know how long that could have went on. Surely it is. It is a very, very beautiful stitch. This is the Snapdragon. And as I said, now all you do is you just alternate your rows, your rows. And anywhere you have a double V stitch, we'll turn it, you'll put in a shell stitch, five double crochets. Anywhere there's a, a shell stitch in the center of that, you'll put a double crochet V stitch. And you just alternate that back and forth for however big you want to make it. If you're making a scarf or a blanket, so... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, Mary. That's a big chore. Okay, so that is the Snapdragon stitch. As I said, it's a very pretty stitch. It was, it's beautiful. I don't remember, Nancy. I remember somebody saying that they um, wanted buttons, but I don't remember who said it. Yes, playing with yarn is always fun. That's a bonus. <laughs> I love to play with yarn, too. My son called me, video called me last night, and uh, I was working on that shawl. And uh, his wife goes, Mom, how much yarn do you have? And I said, do you really want to know the answer to that question? And she goes, yeah, I do. So I took her in the craft room and I started showing her. And I go, and I told her, I said, well, that's just in this room. And she goes, what? My son says, mom, you've got a problem. And I said, no. I said, I'm not a hoarder, son. I said, I'm a collector. <laughs> Joann's has good sales right now. <laughs> Nancy. <laughs> it's always fun, Mary, if you've got company to help you do it. So... Nancy, you are so funny. You crack me up. I just love you. <laughs> She's got such a great sense of humor. I just adore her. I know. So does mine. I want so much of all this newer yarn that's coming out. I want to buy all of Dawn's yarn that she keeps dying. <laughs> All right, our next stitch is also a very, very easy, and I think this one is a one row repeat. But it's really simple, another very pretty pattern. This one is multiples of six plus three, so I'll chain 21 again. Okay. 
Mary, I, I honest truth, I don't know. I have never ever in my life bought yarn from Hobby Lobby. When I was doing my paper crafts, I went to Hobby Lobby to buy like the blades for my Cricut, my papers, my glues, um, those little pop it dots that pop stuff up. I would buy those. Um, my tapes, stuff like that. But as far as yarn, I have never ever in my life bought yarn from Hobby Lobby. So I don't know when their sales are. Okay, so for the split shells, you'll chain a multiple of six plus three. So I have 21 here. And then in the sixth chain from the hook, you're going to work a double crochet. And then you're going to double crochet back into that same stitch. Then you're going to chain one. And then double crochet back into that same stitch two more times. Okay, Zoila. The one we just finished was the Snapdragon. This one is the Split Shells. If you do need assistance with the Snapdragon, you can find a video on YouTube by Crochet Me Lovely. She has a stitch tutorial on it if you do need further assistance. Yes, Zoila, the first one was the Snapdragon. <laughs> Nancy, <laughs> I would have to agree with that because I was born and raised there. <laughs> and the second one we're doing is the Split Shells. And then we're going to skip to and then double crochet into this one. And then we're gonna skip two and work two double crochets. A chain one and two double crochets back into all into that same stitch or chain stitch there. And then we'll skip two and work one double crochet. And then we'll skip two and work two double crochets. A chain one and two double crochets all in the same stitch. And then we're going to end with one double crochet. And this is how your first row should look. Then we will chain three. Turn our work into this first space, chain one space here. We are going to work two double crochets. a chain one and two double crochets.
Yeah, Shirley, this one's a fun one too, and it is a very, very pretty stitch. And then into the center of this, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so into our double crochet spot right here, we'll work one double crochet. And then into the center of this chain one spot, we'll work two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochets. Good morning, my sweet, beautiful sister tank. How are you? And then into that single crochet spot, you'll work, or double crochet spot, you'll work one double crochet. And then into the middle of that shell there, you're going to work two double crochets. A chain one, two double crochets, and then into that double crochet spot, you'll make a double crochet. And then your two double crochets. Chain one and two double crochets. Good, I'm glad you're doing good, Tank. And then you're going to end with one double crochet. And that is it for the split shells. Then you'll chain three and you'll turn your work and you just keep going back and forth. So, Again, two very easy stitches this week. Both very, very pretty. I did tank. Isn't that beautiful? I cannot wait to get it. It is gorgeous. Yeah, that split shells, it's a very pretty stitch. If you do need help with that one as well, um, Creative Grandma. Uh, her name is Glenda. She does have a tutorial on that one as well. So you guys did great this week again. As I said, I think out of both of those ones, I like the Snapdragon one. That Snapdragon is just a, such a pretty stitch. And it's kind of lacy. I used a 6mm for both stitches. But you guys, you guys are awesome at picking out beautiful stitches. Those, uh, both of them were absolutely gorgeous. No, she didn't tell me the name of it, Tank. Tank's Peacock Strut, that's the name of it? If that's the case, I won't never use it. I'll keep it for a memory. <laughs> it's gorgeous, though. I love it. She does such phenomenal work. Of dyeing yarn. I absolutely adore her yarns. Make a shawl. Yeah, I could. Then we could be twinsies. You'd have to make one too. Oh, she just sent a picture. Is this the one of mine and Tank's? Oh my gosh, that's so... <gasps> Look at that, you guys. 
That is stunning. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. Oh my gosh. That is beautiful, Dawn. Absolutely gorgeous. Make a shawl. I'll put it on the, you're going to put it on the back of your couch tank? I could put mine on the back of my chair in my room. I absolutely love it. That is gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait to get that. That is going to be so, ugh. I'm never going to get my stuff done with all this new yarn. I got so many things I want to make. Yes, Michelle, Glenda is, she is absolutely a wonderful lady. 410 yards, so two of them, that's 820 yards. Oh, yeah, that'll make a very nice shawl. I can't wait. Yeah, I've been subscribed to uh, Creative Grandma Glenda for a long time. She's, she's, a, she's a good teacher, and she's very easy to follow. Um... The Snapdragon one, um, her name was Crochet Me Lovely. I'm not subscribed to her, but she's she's pretty good to um, to follow. She, when you go to, if you do need help with the the Snapdragon one, she's already like that far into it to where she's switching colors, and then she tries to show you how to do it, but she tells you really fast in the beginning of how she got it started so <laughs> no granny d again today is she doing okay tank i hate that she's been missing a lot of her lives lately she's been canceling them i hope she's doing okay i know she said something about she was going to be able to come home here soon so maybe that's why maybe she's coming home Yeah, when her and her sister get together, that that's a lot of fun. Oh, she's out with her daughter at Crackle Barrel, Cracker Barrel. Ah, no wonder. I'd rather be at Cracker Barrel, too. <laughs> yeah, Glenda and her sister, when they get together, that that's a blast. They have a lot of fun. She put up a new uh, throw, too, that I wanted to try. I save the uh, video of it but she's got a new throw that's up as well and that's it's very pretty let's see if I can find the name of it let's see her tutorials here she just put a new one up yeah it's called the whisper soft throw and it's it's a pretty throw whoa I don't need the volume. Let's see if I can show you guys a quick glimpse of it. That's her new one called the Whisper Soft Throw. I'd like to try to do that one. And I've got that... Um, number five premier puzzle yarn and i got it in the jack frost and then in the riddle so i think that would be fun to do that whisper throw in a heavier weight yarn just to have to throw up on the back of the couch i gotta be careful with my blankets i crochet though because my dogs like to Oh, Zoila, that's wonderful. He's coming back. That's amazing. How exciting. Yeah, Michelle, Glenda's been around a long time. Her channel, Shirley, is called Creative Grandma. Thank you, Eileen. There you go. There's her link. She's... She's amazing. She's got tons and tons of tutorials as well. 
that you could watch. She does a lot of blankets, um, mostly blankets and throws and afghans that she does. So she's great to watch as well. I enjoy her. I enjoy Crystal. Um, God, there's a lot of them. I can't even think. I watch so many of them. Let's see if I can give you an idea of who I watch here. Let's see. I watch a lot of Spiffy Handmade, Creative Grandma, Fiber Spider, um, Crystal, Amanda Crochet, uh, Maisie and Ruth. I like them. Tiffany Hansen. I like Tiffany Hansen. But yeah, mainly mainly those guys are who I watch most of the time. So <laughs> if I'm not watching a live on YouTube, I'm usually crocheting. You like that one too, Michelle? I did. I think that Whisper Soft Throw is absolutely beautiful. And Fiber Spider is my favorite for doing shawls just because he doesn't use the chain four and then slip stitch to make a ring or a magic ring. He just chains four or five, goes right into that first stitch and starts working. Now that's my kind of way to crochet. I am not good with rings. I'm not good with circles. So. Mary, I enjoy watching your channel too. Um, I usually do watch you. There was, I think, one, one live that you did that I, it was, it was, not that it was wrong, it, it struck home to me and brought back a lot of, oh, let's see, bad, bad nightmare type things for me. So that's why I had mentioned to you it was hitting a little too close to home for me and I was unable to stay for that one. But other than that, I do enjoy watching you. I love your reviews. You do great reviews. I do like listening to some of the the ways of people connecting. Yeah, I, I adore Fiber Spider. He's... Tank, I, I'm i with you on that one. I also was going to do crystals, and then I got reminded you have to block it. I don't block. I've never blocked in my life, and I'm not going to start blocking just for a shawl. <laughs> so... I have decided not to do her, her shawl crochet long. I'll wait until she does something that does not have to be um, blocked. Then I will do it. And Sally, yes, his, vi his videos are so easy to foul. And his voice, I could sit and listen to his voice just all day long. I could fall asleep to Craig's voice. His voice is just one of those... Voices that are calming, it's soothing, just relaxing. <laughs> Boy, Tank and I must be kind of thinking in the same lanes. She's on ponchos and I'm hooked on shawls, but I want to do a, um, a poncho as well. And I've got yarn put up for it. Thank you, Zoila, for dropping those channels. I appreciate it. You want to find a special yarn, Shirley, and do the Lost Souls one? Eileen's hooked on blankets. I've, I'm still working on my blanket. I'm just not putting a lot of time into it. I agree, Mary. They are topics that do need to be discussed. I agree 100%. I just, I went, I went through a very, very, very 
long, rough marriage, and that one just kind of hit home to me. Oh, Dawn, you got your winnings from D. Be careful that pink don't burn you, honey. <laughs> yeah, a lot of bags from D. Uh, people have said that her bags have been ripped open, torn open. So I, I see your point now why you do tape so good. Mary, I agree 100%, and if I was brave enough, I would most definitely come on your channel and and do that as, like you say, to warn others of signs and um, things that they could try to do to avoid getting kind of in that situation, because had I known, I, I would have changed things so much sooner than when I did. And there's a lot that are, they feel trapped in a situation like that because they don't feel they deserve any better. So I 100% agree with you doing them. I really do. Yeah, Don, was there anything missing out of it? I hope not. You owe you owe Zoila a shawl or a poncho? I absolutely love making blankets. Blankets are going to always forever be my favorite thing to make. Shawls are my second favorite thing to make. Um, I still do a lot of scarves because I, I do donate the scarves and beanies to the school. So I do continue to do those. Um, I've got two boxes filled now and I will work throughout the summer to fill up more boxes so that come late September, mid-October, I can go and drop those off at, I got two schools I'm going to give to this year. So however many boxes I end up with, I'll just split them and take them to the schools and drop them off. You have to crochet her. You're a dangerous person. I <laughs> oh no, I can't see that. I agree, Mary. I agree. And crochet is therapy for me as well. It helps with my anxiety. Um, so I 100% can understand. Yes, Eileen, that blanket is very nice. Yeah, I'm not very good in the round either. I. I'm not good at all with working in the round. I've wanted to make a sun bunny forever and I just, I cannot work in the round to do it. And I'm not good making amigurumi at all. So <laughs> I kind of gave up on that idea. Yeah, it helps you stay calm, Tank. Yep, crochet is absolutely 100% therapy for me. If I did not have crochet, I could almost guarantee you I would probably be locked up in a white padded room and they would lock the doors, put chains on them, and say danger on it. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, Mary. I'm one of those people. I'm on a fixed income. I only get a limited amount of money for the month, and it has to last me all month. But I still, I give myself an allowance. This is what I can spend every month on yarn, and once it's gone, it's gone. That's it. So I I love to crochet. I will, I will keep investing in yarn. So... I, it, to me, I, I cannot not do it because it's my therapy and I enjoy doing it and I enjoy donating to the schools. I have for years now, since my granddaughter started school is when I started donating and that was her idea and I promised her I would keep doing it. So I'm going to. Exactly, Tank. Do not touch the crazy women. Danger. You get $60 for an allowance? Yep. I'm sure there's a lot of us that are probably all in the same boat. We're all on fixed incomes, and it's, it's hard for us, but we manage and we make it work as long as my dogs got their food and stuff for the month and me and my roommate we've got all the stuff we need for the month and the bills are paid whatever's left is play money to me I can do what I want with it <laughs> your body's been recovering Fibromyalgia is not an easy thing to have either. Um, I've got the startings of it. It's not a full engaged yet. Um, but there's days it bothers me really, really bad. And then there's other days that it's manageable and I can go about my duties for the day. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss, Michelle. There's days I wished I had a new body. I don't know if I could ever go back to work again. I, My social anxiety and anxiety period, I don't think I could ever go back to work. I would freak out if I had to be around a whole ton of people all the time. <laughs> Yes, absolutely, Mary. Anybody that can benefit from it, and, and that's the ultimate goal. If you reach that, then that's all that matters. Tank, I'm with you on that. I do, too. I just don't. I just don't. I don't, I don't know, I guess I don't like to talk about it because I don't want people to, I guess, judge me about it or say, well, if she didn't do this or didn't do that, maybe she wouldn't have this problem or that problem or, but yeah, I, I do too. I, like I said, I smoke and I'm trying to quit smoking because I do have some heart issues. I have COPD. Um, I have the startings of fibromyalgia. I suffer from anxiety social anxiety, depression, yeah, I, the list goes on and on, so. Exactly, Zoila. yeah, you never know how much stuff you've got until you're ready to move, and then you go, oh my goodness, where did I get all of this stuff from? How did I accumulate this much? Mr. Cozy and I were talking about that our shed is it should be filled with our gardening supplies the lawnmower all the outdoor tools that we use our shovels and stuff like that instead three quarters of our shed is packed filled with totes of christmas stuff 
No person in their right mind needs a whole storage shed filled with Christmas stuff on top of a closet filled with Christmas stuff. I mean, that's, that's ridiculous. Zoila, yes, prayers. I'm praying for you too, honey. Smoking is a very hard thing to quit doing. I've been smoking since I was 14 years old. And, yeah, I, I, I need to quit. I have cut way back, and I, I only allow myself eight cigarettes. That's what I get for a whole 24-hour period. And then in two days, I take a one away. And then in two days after that, I take another one away. So I am now down to six cigarettes a day, and that's it. And after today, I go down to five. <laughs> And that's how I'm going to try to do it. I take two away every two days. And then hopefully when they're gone, they're gone. And I hope I don't buy any more. It's a very bad habit to start. And I should have never done it. But... Congratulations, Tank. I am so proud of you. I understand, Don. Yep. I 100% understand, sweetie. That's my feeling, Tank. I'm sure if I don't, something bad's going to happen. Because when I had to go to the ER last Thursday night, I, I felt so miserable. My chest felt so heavy. My... I had pain in my left arm. I had some pain in my back. I felt short of breath. I just, I thought for sure it was my heart. My feet were swelled up. My legs were swelled up. I didn't know what was going on. No, Michelle, you're right. 14 years old is not a... You don't think at 14 years old what the consequences could be. My grandmother gave me my first cigarette, so, <laughs> I mean, her and my mom both smoked. So I thought, well, okay, well, if they're, they're doing it, can't be bad if grandma's going to give me one. Little did I know then. And, yeah, once I started smoking... My mom and my grandma both bought my cigarettes for me because at that time you couldn't buy cigarettes. You had to be, I think, over the age of 16 and then it went to 18. I remember taking my bike and riding up to Brownie's Party Mart and buying my mom cigarettes for, you know, I, I was a kid. Don, I did not know that, honey. I'm sorry. I did not know that. I'm glad you quit smoking, Tank. I really am. At five, your brother gave you a cigarette? That's terrible. Five years old? That's way too young. I thought my grandmother was naughty for giving me one at 14. Wow, five is really young. Yeah, if we nobody knew back then what all the problems that it could cause 30, 40 years later. Zoila, you started all on your own. Yeah. I mean, I blame my grandmother for giving it to me, but I accepted it. So, I mean, it's not really her fault. It's kind of both our faults. I should have never continued. I should have said, no, it's nasty. It's yucky. I don't want to. But back then, you want to be in with the cool kids, and all the cool kids smoked back then. So I wanted to be with the cool kids. <laughs> Your sister gave you your first one at eight. Wow. 
Yeah, I mean, back then, we, us kids that were born in the 60s and 70s, we didn't think anything of what dangers were, what could happen. I mean, our parents left us at home while they were at work, get home from school. We had the house to ourselves. We knew what to do. I mean, we knew when the streets like street lights came on at dark, it was time to go home. You go out, you play with your friends. We didn't have tablets and computers and cell phones. We had to use our imaginations. We kids today have it easy. I mean, kids today don't even have to learn to write in cursive. That's a secret language for us adults. Yeah, I don't think it's cool anymore. I agree, Zoila. It is not cool at all. And I remember telling my mom and my grandma, you know, seven, eight years old, because they used to show the cigarette commercials on TV and cool cigarettes was one of the commercials. And I was like, I'm going to smoke cool cigarettes. That way I can be like all the cool kids. Well, I didn't realize they were menthol. I didn't know they had menthol in regular flavor at that age. Yeah, why they, why they stopped that Zoila is beyond me. Um, my granddaughter still wanted to learn it, even though the schools weren't teaching it. So I bought her a book on how to do all the letters in cursive and how to write sentences and words in cursive so that she could still learn because the schools weren't going to teach her. Yeah, the house better be clean when they got home. That's right. And no friends in the house while they weren't home. <laughs> if you got caught, you were in trouble. You wanted the camels? Candy cigarettes? I remember me and my sister used to light the candy cigarettes on fire. And they taste like burnt marshmallows. Yeah, switch from cursive to keyboarding. Exactly which they shouldn't have done. But I guess that's okay for people that are in our generation because cursive is a secret language. We could write letters and our kids would have no clue. <laughs> Especially mine because I'm a left-handed person, but I write with a right person slant. And I could never write in cursive the way the teachers tried to teach us, and I almost failed second grade because I couldn't write like the other kids. And I finally, I told my teacher, I'm like, look, I'm doing the best I can. I cannot write it like you're trying to teach me. I have taught myself how to do my own letters, and now people will tell me, you got such beautiful cursive handwriting. And I don't think it is. I it just, I have my own way of writing. I wish they would have kept teaching it, though, because I think kids today need to learn more stuff like that instead of how to work certain windows or use this type of tablet or an iPad or you need to have this kind of a computer and know how to run these systems. And yeah, that's no fun. Well, hello, Don P. How are you? I like my cursive writing better than I do my print, though. My print looks like a little kid tried to print it out. <laughs> I cannot print very well, but cursive, I can write very well in cursive. Surely they're teaching them how to write cursive there in the eighth grade? I know, double trouble with the dons. That's interesting. Yeah, Washington State will not teach kids to write and at all in cursive in any grade here, which is terrible. That's great, Shirley. <laughs> Zoila, you was waiting for that comment? <laughs> Uh, 
I love to watch those guys on Friday night when they all get going. Yeah, eighth grade is a little late, but at least they're doing it. I had to learn in the second grade. Don't, don't encourage her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's trouble. Now, now, now. Yeah, they are. Oh, in Illinois, your son is learning it in third grade? That is amazing, Sally. Yeah, I remember I was in second grade, and we had to learn it by second grade. If not, just bloop. A hoot, not a hook. <laughs> I knew what you meant. You're warning us all? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, that is. That's really good that they're teaching them that young. I mean, I'm glad they're doing it in eighth grade as well, but I, I definitely think they should be learning it in the first, second grade. Yeah, you get dot on a roll and it could be big trouble. <laughs> but I'm excited to see my yarn and I know Tank is excited to see her yarn. She always does beautiful work. Michelle, I would absolutely hope that would be the case because I know a lot of people have made a big fuss about that. No, she's not, Zoila. Uh, Tank said that she was out with her daughter at Cracker Barrel, so Granny D is not going live today. Oh, yeah, surely. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, Zoila. Yeah, Tank let us know that earlier. She was out with her daughter, um, so she wasn't going to do her life today. I was a little concerned at first because I didn't know if something happened or... But she's going to... She should be out of there now and at home, I'm hoping. I know that was the last I heard was she was going to be leaving the rehab and going home, so. I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that my package from D will be here today as well. She was shocked it wasn't here Saturday, but I know how long it takes to get from stuff from Michigan to here because when my mom mails stuff from Michigan to here, it takes at least a week. So hopefully today I should have my prize from D. That was so confusing because when she drew it, it only comes up as Cozy Crochet Nook. It didn't have my name in front of it. And then when I emailed her, my email address and name are different from my channel name. So she was all kinds of confused. And so back and forth with the emails of trying to tell her who I was and show her who I was, proving to her who I was. And then everything that happened with her and Mark with catching, getting sick, and then her getting that, um, is that, Zoila, is that on Jen's channel or Ivy's? Because I, I thought Ivy's was Tuesday night.
Yeah, Michelle, that's what I'm saying. Her and Mark both caught that big C. Then she got that infection from Michael's using the restroom. Then her brother-in-law, she lost her brother-in-law. And then um, now Mark's daughter in the hospital and they've got their grandson there with them. So yeah, I, it's just, I, I feel so bad about, you know, I, I felt bad even asking her about it in the live, but it's been well over a month that I won it. And I, you know, I was haunting the mailbox. I didn't know what was going on. Yeah. And then the puppies and I hadn't gotten an email from her after emailing her a couple of times, I still hadn't heard anything. So I just, I was concerned, you know, I didn't know if she mailed it and it got lost or someone stole it out of the mailbox or from the office or heck, who knows? I, I wasn't trying to upset her. I just, I wanted to know what was going on. I, I apologized to her, but Yeah, Zoila, I I understand. I know she does get tons. And like she said, she erased like five or eight thousand emails. I I'd lose my mind if I got that many emails. I get a lot of junk ones and sales and Joann's and Michaels and stuff like that, but yeah, I don't blame her for emptying hers either. I mean, if I had 8,000 emails or even 5,000 sitting in there, I would just start trashing everyone. I, but that's, there's no way I could sit and read that many. But I mean, I did. I felt bad because I, it sounded like I upset her and that was not what I was trying to do. I love Dee so much. <laughs> she is an amazing person and I love her. I wish she could have got to keep one of those puppies, though. Those puppies were so cute, and I know she just loved Feather. Yeah, no kidding. If I ever got that many emails, whew. Surely I hear you. Yeah, I get those ones for the male ones, too, and I'm like, are you serious? Does my name say I'm a man? <laughs> you know? Thank you, Zoila. That makes me feel a little better. Like I said, I was worried I had upset her, and that was not my intention. <laughs> Your daughter does, too. Yeah. Some of the stuff that they send, it's like, how did you even get my email address? I never subscribed to you. I never sent anything. So why are you sending me this stuff, and how did you get my address? <laughs> Alrighty guys, I guess it's about time for me to start saying goodbye and I hope not. I really do because like I said, I love Dee. She is amazing. I love being a family member of hers on her channel. I love to support her. I watch everything Dee puts out just like I'm faithful to Dee just as much as I am to Crystal. So, <laughs> I I love Dee. She's right up there on my books. So, I hope you guys all have a good day. Please check out that episode 700 of Tuber Chat so you guys can understand what I was trying to explain to you about the watch hours. I think it's necessary that everybody knows that information so that they're not trying to um, purposely have a channel get in trouble i just want everyone to be aware of that so please check out that episode i hope you enjoyed today's stitches i will put new ones up on my community tab for next monday <clears throat> if i do get a package today from d i will make a video and put that up if not i will see you guys for whipping wednesday and then thursday for trivia thursday <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Michelle. Um, so I guess until next time, 
Thanks, Michelle. I appreciate you. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for spending your time with me. It means a lot to me. You are very welcome, Zoila. I hope you guys enjoy them. And I, like I said, I'll put five new ones up. Hopefully you guys can vote for two. If not, leave them in the comments and I will pick them uh, that way out of the comments. You guys have a great day. Stay safe, stay cozy, and keep crocheting, my friends. Bye till next time.